friends, I'm Robin Feicht at Stamping Country. Today I'm going to show you how to make little mini envelopes and uh, mini cards. We're going to use the envelope punch board. My card is going to be 3x3, three three, so I find the 3x3, three three, and it tells me on the next space how to cut my paper at 5 and a quarter by 5 and a quarter inches, and then where to score my first line, which is 2 and 5 eighths inches. So I've cut my Gingham Gala cardstock five and a quarter by five and a quarter. I'm going to line up the left edge at two and five eighths. This is the only time I'm going to measure. And then I punch and score. This time we're not going to measure. We're just going to line up the score line with this little foot. And it actually happens to say score line. So you place the score line, you punch, and you score. Score line. Line it up with the foot, punch, and score. Score line, line it up with the foot, punch, and score. You have the base of your little mini envelope. Wasn't that easy? Now, you can leave it just like this, or you can round the corners just by placing the corners in the back of your punch board. I'm, I've chosen to round mine super simple, super fast. And now we're ready to put it together, which is going to be super easy. You just need some adhesive. We're going to score with our little score tool or fold um, up the corners. Now when you put on the adhesive, you only want to put it on the flap. It helps if you open the lid. And then just fold that up. And you have a great little envelope. Now let's make our card. I'm going to cut a piece of cardstock that is 6 by 3 inches and score at 3 inches. And that's going to make a 3 by 3 card. We're going to stamp with the Postcard Pals stamp set and Tuxedo Black Memento ink. I'm using this ink because I'm going to color it with my alcohol markers or my Stampin' Blends. My personal favorite stamp in this set is the Little Pelican. He is just so stinking cute. So we'll stamp our pelican. He looks great. And then I want the sentiment to match my envelope, so I'm going to stamp my sentiment with Highland Heather ink. I'm stamping Be Your Wonderful Self. Isn't that a cute little card to, I don't know, you can put in a lunchbox or wherever you want to tuck it, in a backpack. Now we're going to color. I'm going to stick with my theme with the Highland Heather, so his vest, I started with the light. Highland Heather, and then I'm going over where the lines are and shading with my dark Highland Heather, and then I'm going back and blending with my light Highland Heather. I'm going to color my cat the same way. We'll start with the light, go to the dark, and there he's matchy matchy. I'm using the smoky slate, the light. Um, and I'm just sort of highlighting some of his feathers. And then just blend it out with the um, color lifter. I'm going to do his bill with Mango Melody. I've started with the light once again. And then I'm going to go back and go where the lines are with the dark and then blend out with the light. I want to do the same thing to the top of his bill. Light and then the dark and blend it out. I'm going to do the same thing with his feet. We'll go with the light and then the dark. And then I'm going to do uh, the dirt with the crumb cake. I'm going to do the fish with granny apple green. I started with light, highlight with the dark, and we'll go back and blend with the light. We're almost done. We're going to use Pool Party to give a little color around our bird. Just sort of um, makes them stand out a little bit more. Score and ta-da!